I went to this workshop, we talked about health last night. Tell me, what is it to you, what does it mean to you to be healthy? Here's what you're going to find. Right? I've been doing this for 12 years. I've asked a lot of people this question. Well, if I can get out of bed, well, any day I wake up. <laughs> um, if I'm not in pain, if I'm not sick, if I can do the things that I want to do, uh, you know what, I must be healthy. Right? Health is not an either-or type of thing. It's not healthy one day, sick the next day. It's a process. All right? Health has several different facets and components to it. It's defined as optimal physical, mental, social, and spiritual well-being, not just the absence of disease or infirmity. That's Dorland's Medical Dictionary. Webster's tells us this, that health is a condition of wholeness in which all of the organs and tissues are functioning at 100%. Guess what? We weren't born with any extra parts. Yeah. If you take any out, it affects the whole body. Okay? You can still function without a doubt, but you can never be 100% whole again. So that gallbladder, that appendix, those tonsils, they're all part of your immune system, right? They're, they're needed things. So it's a balance in physical, mental, emotional, and spiritual well-being. Within all living things, there's something which is infinite and perfect. In chiropractic, we call that innate intelligence. Innate means God-given, inborn. It's there from the time of conception. It's the intelligence that takes those two cells, brings them together, unfolds those genetic blueprints, and makes us who we are sitting here today. That intelligence is with us from the time of conception till our very last breath of life. And in order for our body to express optimum health, that intelligence has to get from the brain over our nerve system to every cell, tissue, and organ in the body uninterfered with over our lifetime. 